You know, I have all these amazing, wonderful questions, um, I, I, and I know we only have a certain amount of time, but you create your own one-woman solo shows. Yeah. Short films. I mean, you write, you produce, you star in. Um, I mean, how important do you think that is for actors to do? Oh, so important. Although I have to say that is why I hesitated when you asked the question about, um, you know, what is your joy? Because it is one of my joys uh, doing my solo shows. And yet uh, they are tremendously personal. And in them, I am a hundred percent myself, which is ironic because here my answer ultimately was disappearing into other people. Right. Um, which is interesting. interesting. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, no, I, I, I found that, you know, I don't know, maybe at one point back in the like days of Rita Hayworth and Ava Gardner, you could just go sit at the Formosa and with a drink with a, you know, a bunch of umbrellas coming out of it. And, and here comes the rat pack to, to swoop you up and put you in their three picture deal. Maybe, maybe that happened. I don't know. It definitely doesn't happen now. Yeah. And so uh, the fact is people are creating their own material. And um, if you're not, well then good luck to you. Like it's, it's not enough to just have a pretty face or a big rack or, you know, uh, be related to somebody at least. Well, I don't have any of those. Um, <laughs> But <laughs> I think that, um, I, you know, I think content is king. And um, by creating content, you're making yourself that much more um, of a commodity. Mm. You're, you know, so, you know, in some cases, it's enough to just be an actor. In in my case, it, it wasn't. It hasn't been. I mean, I... I uh, I got lucky to have gotten Pepper, but at the same time, um, uh, I wouldn't have lasted in this business all those those twenty two years between starting out and getting Pepper had I not been creating my own material. Right. Um, because the fact is, you know, just driving across town, you know, to do you do your couple lines as Dom Fokker or, you know, deliver profiles or whatever it is that you're being asked to do as an actor. 22 years of that is pretty, it can be pretty demoralizing, especially, I mean, in my case, I really wasn't, I was not getting roles in a, uh, in a, a traditional way. It wasn't until I started creating my own roles mm -hmm. um, that I started to uh, not only see see any sort of results or um, get, have any success, yeah. but um, m more importantly, I was like feeding my artist soul. Mm. And, um, and I was no longer, it, it didn't even matter if I was getting the role or not. I was happy, <laughs> which yeah. is what it's all about ultimately. So I, I stopped you know, honestly, like even had Pepper not come around, I mean, I'm glad she did, but even if she hadn't have been, I'd found my bliss. I was happy um, creating my little YouTube sketches and, and writing my one woman shows. And um, I'd probably still be doing them mm -hmm. even without, in fact, I am still doing them. I'm working on a third solo show now. So um uh, I think it's important in every way. I think it's important to keep, you know, f like feeding that artist's soul. I think it's important to keep you, you know, in the game. Uh, I think it's important to remain competitive in this day and age where everyone else is creating. And if you're not, well, then you're kind of an anomaly and you probably ought to get to it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, um, hmm. Yeah, 
it's fine if you're, you know, like I said, Ava Gardner, great, but I'm not. <laughs> well, this is this is the time to, I mean, this day and age, like you said, they don't do that other, you know, sit in the, uh, the well, yeah. little bar or wherever, and it's like, oh, or the, the drugstore <laughs> or wherever you get located at. Um, yeah. Uh, 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 three uh, of our students and friends and family from Meet the Biz and Performing Arts Studio West sent in some questions. Oh, great. I have three different questions here. Ranjani Reyes, uh, she said, what uh, was your favorite thing about your character on the set of American Horror Story? Um, hmm. I think the freedom with which I was able to play her. I think I was, um, I was not micromanaged in the least. I, all I got was one piece of, uh, uh, one piece of direction. Yeah. And that was do schlitzy. So schlitzy, as we all know, is, uh, was a real life microcephalic from the 1933 film Freaks. Uh, and he was my muse. Uh, he was the model for Pepper. Uh, and I knew as an actress, as long as I was staying true to, to Schlitzy, um, then I was doing my job. Yeah. And, you know, that was beautiful. The fact that, uh, that, that the directors and, and producers and creator trusted me to, uh, with, you know, they gave me this very, just as much as I needed. It was one, it was two words, do, let's see. And that's all I needed. And so the, the fact that I had both their, their faith and trust, but also, uh, um, uh, yeah, the, the freedom to, to, uh, to take that bit of that little pearl of wisdom and, uh, and do with it, uh, what I wanted and what I what I felt was necessary. Oh, I love that. I love yeah. it. I love that freedom bit. Mm, yeah. Um, Andy Arias, who is a dear friend, and he was one of my first students. Uh, she as an uh, she's an amazing actress. Um, how did she t uh, type into uh, tap into all those unique personalities? life experience or training and he said also give a hug uh, to her for me yeah i was gonna say i know andy hi andy <laughs> um ay 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 well uh yeah life experience i mean i've been here forever and <laughs> on this earth so i suppose and on that. other planets <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um no but i think um i think you know, Pepper's very different from me, obviously. Um, uh, so I think it's important to kind of find the, the your where you're similar and where you're different. And um, unlike most actors, I think I am more excited by the ways we're different. Mm -hmm. Like I would always, you know, let's face it, most actors tend to play themselves. Like they'll find um, uh, uh, aspects of them themselves and, um, and, and what am I trying to say? I, I just think in general, when we see an actor, you know, on Seth Meyers or whatever, they're often not that far away from the character that we see them in the movie that they're promoting. Um, you know, they physically look like them and maybe, maybe they, uh, maybe there are a lot of uh, similarities. Right. In my case, I really like to disappear into the person. Like I, that is part for me of the thrill. Yeah. Occasionally I'll get an audition or whatever where I'm, I, I, look and maybe seem a lot like him or her right. and that's less interesting to me I can still do it but um you know I I am excited by uh the idea of by the dissimilarities as opposed to the similarities um although I think they're both important I think um you know in the case of Pepper I had l literally nothing in common with her um 
physically, um, uh, very little mentally. Uh, I mean, you know, technically she's has the brain capacity of a four year old and, you know, I went to a, you know, Ivy adjacent school. Uh, um, uh, 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 emotionally, I mean, my goodness, we've lived very different lives. Um, she, she was uh, in an orphanage, uh, then, you know, then relegated to a, an insane asylum. Like, I, I haven't had that experience. I lived in a really sheltered little, you know, home in um, Denver, Colorado, then, you know, lived abroad in Argentina. I mean, we've, we've lived, we don't have a lot in common. Mm. Um, uh, you know, socio, uh, you name it in, in all the ways. But and, and, but it is important to have something. And let's face it, she has a huge capacity to love. Mm -hmm. You know, and that I can relate to. Like I just want to play, mm -hmm. and as does Pepper. You know, so I think it is really important that there's something to hang our hat on. There's some like. Um, uh, uh, you know, it's not like I'm t someone I, you know, we, we do have some things in common, but yeah, I could go on and on and on. Yeah. About how, I mean, I don't even look like her, you know what I mean? Like, right, right. Well, so, it, it's interesting how it, it's so true. It comes from your core and mm -hmm. the core of love. Yes. Yes. Yeah. In her case, for sure. That, that was it for that yeah. yeah i mean as an actress i uh you know I, I we all have our processes and uh in my case it was really the uh from the outside in i um i really found that the the hair and makeup really helped mm. um it's just like if you've ever had the experience of going into a, a wig shop and putting on a a mane <laughs> that at least me I, all of a sudden like if I put on a long hair oh there you go what are we gonna see I don't um, know I have pearls what else do I <laughs> what happens when you put them on what does it do oh I don't know should I put on the pearls I use this for Halloween once I could like ow <laughs> I just know when I have had the experience of putting on a, a long hair, all of a sudden I sound like Sofia Vergara. Look at you. All of a sudden you're, you've literally started like you sat up a little straighter. I did. You curved your lips. You, you did all kinds of things. You became this like other, it's like this uh, Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> right? Just think if I had a wig and glasses on now. Oh, Just, yeah. It is interesting. I didn't know what would happen with this. Mm -hmm. And because I was looking for maybe glasses or something, I said, this is what I grabbed. But it is interesting how I sat up straight. Mm -hmm. I should mm -hmm. do more you did. I think you even clenched your butt cheeks a little. Yes, what little butt I have. <laughs> but <laughs> I wasn't going to go there. But oh, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, I noticed you went, whoop. It's like yeah. you totally took on this new person. And that was the same for me and Pepper. Yeah. Um, you know, she, uh, the minute they put those, those pieces on, I, I sort of like, my posture went like this. I, I, my face went like that. And um, yeah, I don't know. I, I physically sort of took on this, this other person. In the meantime, you know, it's not, all the outside though there's also obviously oh you 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 can't just be exterior oh, and and vice versa you can't just be interior although a lot of actors are um but again that's not the kind of actor that i try to be um right. so not that there's anything wrong with it it's just that's that's me right right but you know, so yes, I had created a whole interior, an inside world, which honestly, no one got to see until much later. I mean, when, let's face it, when uh, in season two, episode one, yeah. when we 
meet Pepper for the first time, and Sister Mary Eunice says, oh, Pepper, she, and she, she mentioned all these terrible things that I allegedly did. Yeah. I don't know if that's true. In fact, I didn't have any reason to believe it wasn't true. I, I had, we had no idea. So I, if you, if you look back, you'll see, I kind of look back at her with a, like this sort of like, maybe I did, maybe I didn't, we don't know. Um, which it worked both, it works both ways. It wasn't until, well, I suppose later on in that season, we find out that I was framed, but it wasn't until two seasons later that we actually hear the real story so um yeah it's uh yeah uh, uh it's but the point is even though just like dom fokker i i didn't have a whole lot to say but i needed an internal life right whether or not it w you were going to actually get, get it from the horse's mouth whether or not i actually got a chance to articulate that story was neither here nor there the, the fact is I needed to have it. There needed to be something going on other than, you know, the makeup doesn't act. Yeah. <laughs> the makeup yeah. just sits on your face. It's, you got to do something with that makeup. Yeah. And um, so having that internal life, having that story that I created for myself, whether or not the audience actually gets to hear it is neither here nor there. The fact is I had, I had a story. So, you know, that's, I mean, I, I've, now I've answered Andy's an question and then some, but, um, it's gorgeous, gorgeous answer. What I'm trying to say is it's, um, it's a yin and yang. It's a, yeah. it's a, um, the inside and outside. You really, as, as far as I'm concerned, you can't neg neglect either. They're both, they're both come together to make one. Yeah. Um, wow. That was great. Um, oh. Last thing, first of all, Teresa Direx just loves you. She said, I love Naomi. Um, the last question. Um, what is one of your proudest moments in your life? Oh. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. The moment at my high school reunion which, by the way, was a kind of a, a, a train wreck. They didn't rent out the place for just us. It was, it was not just the high school. It wasn't just my high school. It was also like just random Denver Bronco fans that happened to come to this bar. Oh my God. But yeah, the point is, this is not my favorite moment, but I just have to say, tell you this moment because yeah, it yeah, yeah. occurred to me when the random Denver Bronco fan wandered up to the head mean girl from high school and asked her if he, if she would take a picture of the two of us, implying that I was famous and um, would she please take a photo? Uh, that was my, the moment that, that like little, you know, 12 year old Naomi was like, thank you, you know, felt truly validated. Um, because yeah, I can, see that. <laughs> I can see that, you know, growing up and having those bullies beat on you. And then all of a sudden that bully is now, Oh, can you take our picture? Yeah. Yeah. Having the, um, you know, the ex-boyfriend who, you know, it just, it didn't work out, but then going to the Comic-Con in his, well, not only town, but country, Mexico, and uh, ha 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 having him see me up on a stage, you know, where the last time he'd seen me, I was on, uh, I was on a stage doing improv with more um, performers than there was audience. Then cut to having him see me up on a stage with a, a long queue of his countrymen, you know, crying at the thought of having a selfie with me. I mean, these are moments where, you know, we all want our exes to see us to su succeed, but to have him literally see me su succeed, that, you know, those are, those are, <laughs> you, yeah, I mean, 
Yeah. Um, was well, that my proudest moment, though? No, no. I'm getting to my proudest moment. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm not going to lie. Again, uh, like, go watching my IMDb and um, the day I became number one. I love that! I mean, who cares, really? Like I said, ultimately, IMDb is the ultimate of mean girl, high school, like, popularity contest. But it's literally a co popularity contest with the world. And when I was, like, on top of Ryan Gosling and all the other, like, gorgeous men I've ever wanted to be on top of, like, in the world, like, yeah, that felt pretty freaking great. Um... Uh, even though, again, on, ultimately, I was like, you know, who cares? Uh, I'm okay. I'm gonna finally settle with this, though. This I is love this. this. Is the one I had yeah. to like build up. No, those I love were, it all. All of these are great. Those were like my top four, uh, three. Now this we're we're now at number one. Right. Honestly, I'm gonna say the day I left Edinburgh, which of course you know. Edinburgh is the home of the largest theater festival in the world, in Scotland. Uh, I, I took my one-woman show and I um, did this epic, like, run, in which every single night, um, you know, at 11 p.m., I, I heft my way uphill both, both way, uphill both ways with a duffel full of dildos to do my show for, um, you know, sometimes a, you know, half empty crowd, sometimes a raucous, you know, it depends. It's very hard to get drunk Scotsmen up five flights of stairs. Um, so the nights that I filled it, believe me, it, it meant something. But um, the fact is, you know, that, that was, it was like climbing Kilimanjaro. Like it was like for an actor, that is the ultimate, you know, um, uh, 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 and I did it. I did it. I, I, and it was so hard. And, and I'll never forget the, the, my last day as when I had to leave, I was so sad. I was, I was crying as I pulled out of there. Um, because honestly, like I could have done that forever. I could have performed for maybe 50, maybe, uh, maybe a half dozen, uh, drunk Scotsman for the rest of my life. I was just so happy telling my story every night as hard as it was and as cold as it was and as wet as it was and as, you know, um, late as it was every single night. And yet it was, I was doing what I loved and that was the, the most joyous I've ever felt. Better than being on top of Ryan Gosling, if you can imagine. And having that mean girl take my photo. <laughs> oh, I would comment about Ryan Gosling, but I better not. <laughs> <laughs> He's great. And Thanks. so are you. What a joy you are. And what a, um, I was listening to your stories and you just, uh, you just uplifted me. Just uh you just yeah you know i mean you you and me right now i'm just um you know you get trapped in these four walls now and to have these connections like we just did Aww. um and to hear your success uh, makes me happy well i was gonna say we are in quarantine so the the bar is quite low <laughs> <laughs> If I lifted you up, it's probably because it's just barely off the floor, right? Oh, <laughs> my God. Well, <laughs> last night I was on the floor because I couldn't get up. My back was out. <laughs> oh, no. Well, see, so I wasn't wrong. I wasn't that far off. Oh, my God. And no, but it's true. I, 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 I feel the same way. You know, this is, this is such a weird, isolating time. And the fact that, you know, we can... We at least have this. 
yeah. you know. Thank God. Oh my you didn't God. have this years ago. Right? In 1917, in the Spanish flu or whatever, they didn't have this. Yeah. So, we're lucky. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. This was wonderful. Thank you so much. I'm sorry I'm such a talker. No, my God, it's gorgeous. Uh, what a lesson you gave us all. Oh, uh, well, good. Lessons. Good. Lessons. With, with, what, what? Lessons, plural, with an S. Indeed, indeed. You know, the best way for me to introduce myself would be to do a monologue. Okay. My vagina is unto the world's vagina. Save your baby, save your soul. Excuse me, I'm here to make an appointment. That's Jess. She's on the phone. That's what the finger was. I got that. So, you're making an appointment. Yeah, good for you. Maybe I'll be your escort. Okay. <gasps> Walk you to the car, you know, protect you from the crazies. <laughs> okay. So you're an actress? I hope to be. It's fine, so long as you go on all your auditions after 9 p.m. We do not drink, smoke, or swear in front of the client. Got it? Above all else, our main concern is to protect and control the client's likeness, image, and fragile ego. Mm -hmm.